Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. This is gonna be the final episode of Kirby's Dreamland 3. It's been a long ride. I've kind of been postponing this one, not intentionally, sort of, but we're gonna get at it. We're gonna finish it. This is level five, Ice Boyg. We got three levels, and then we will be taking on D -d 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 himself. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. Should be a lot of fun. I feel like giving you the Iceberg power in Iceberg Land is probably not super beneficial. But I guess it does make sense, because Kir 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 Kirby. Kirby games are all about what you get from the environment you're in. Using every part of the- man, I'm doing really poorly. Using every part of the buffalo, so... I totally get it. So yeah, it's been a little bit. It's been a hot minute, or a cold minute, I guess. Ooh, I should have got that guy. There's a fire guy. It's a fire boy, and I missed him. Yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've uh, played Kirby. Okay, probably should not. I don't even, these things are making me mad. Everything is just running into me. It's like in my real life. Why is everybody always trying to run into me? Leave me alone. I have no idea what any of the uh, make people happy things are. And at this point, I kind of just want to put a bow on Kirby. Kirby's a good game. The future iterations of which I would agree more wholeheartedly. This one I don't love, unfortunately. Which is strange, because I was a really big fan of Kirby 2. The predecessor to this game, the prequel. I mean, it's not a prequel, but it's the prequel to this game. Really enjoyed that one. But this one, you know, I just can't quite uh, find myself as enthusiastic. And I think a big part of it is just because I was expecting this game to be like Kirby 2 and then it wasn't. The game definitely had more interaction with the various animal buddies. And this one does, this one has more animal buddies. But more is not always better. Sometimes less, I've heard, is more. And I would definitely agree in that case that it is. I feel like having the animal buddies in the various set pieces around this world, the various levels and stuff, in this game, they just, I don't really feel like it was really well thought out. The interaction wasn't really there, unfortunately. It was just felt like, hey, there's an animal buddy, and uh, you can use them in this area if you want. It's not really, like, tailored to it. How do I go? I think I need another fire buddy to help me out. I will have the chance here. Ooh. Excuse me. Let me look on you. There we go. Okay, now I think we can melt these blocks. Oh, okay. Oh, that's lame. Well, excuse... Ugh. That's another thing that this game does. The hitboxes on stuff is not great. So it's a little finicky. I need to stop my complaining, my belly aching. Just enjoy your Kirby. Yeah, this is the thing that... It's kind of tough as... I don't think there's a way to... There's not really a good way to do this. You kind of just have to... plow your way through these... ice cubes. This is very fun, by the way. I'm really enjoying this. Glad they were able to bring this solid gameplay to a Kirby title. I've heard really good things about other Kirby titles. I haven't played too many of them. I kind of fell off a bit after Kirby 1 and 2. My biggest enjoyment of Kirby games was definitely um, Pinball, Kirby's Pinball Land. I don't think I can do the firepower down. No, okay, great. Well, I guess we won't explore that area. That's fine. Kirby's Pinball was definitely a, uh, was a home run hit for me, big fan. What's down here? Okay, don't have either of those powers. The game relies really heavily on that, unfortunately, so... You don't have the right powers, you can just get out. Yeah, Kirby's Pinball Land, big fan of that one. Really enjoyed that. Oops, did I upset something already? I can't even see what it is. I've probably done an absolute disservice to this game, but we have a mini-boss! Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Wait, okay. 
Looks like firepower is actually a pretty good choice. This guy seems to be pretty weak to it, as you'd expect. Okay. And we're not going to touch it, because we learned what happens when you touch stuff. You get hurt and you die. That's just kind of a lesson for life. Just don't touch things. Don't touch people. Don't touch anything. Never touch... Never touch anything. Ever. Forever. And you'll never have to worry about anything. Problem solved. Oof. Some of these enemies also, like, they telegraph in a way that makes you think that you can get around them and then you just can't, and I don't really like that. But I am vibing to this song, which I don't know if this is the last time we'll hear it, but if it is, it's kind of sad because it's a fun, fun little ditty. I enjoy it. Oops. Let's just get out of here. Oh no, we upset the weird banana boomerang. I don't remember if up is good or down is good. Okay, I mean, I guess that's that's fine. Could really use some lives here, though. I've got a feeling that a game over slash resets in my future. Okay, looks like we have an enemy cat. We're gonna be helping out. Looks like we might be in the sky. Frozen Swiss cheese world. But yeah, Kirby Pinball. Have a bit of a tenuous relationship with it. In my family, when I was a kid, we would sometimes take a family vacation. And uh, there was one year where my oldest sister and her then boyfriend, they got married, but her then boyfriend, they got married like when they were young too, which I think is kind of strange. I mean, not married when they were young. They met each other when they were young and then they chose to get married, which I think is an interesting concept. They think they met each other when they were like 14 or 15, and then they decided to still stick it out. Which I think is, you know, more power to you if you're able to pull that off. True love, as a teenager, just seems kind of infallible to me. But anyway, we were on a trip. Don't know where, don't know where. maybe do an amusement park or something for the summer. And uh, yeah, the... Uh, the proverbial family Game Boy was getting passed around. And it turns out that uh, Kirby's Pinball Land can cause some tension. And it did. We would all pass the Game Boy back and forth trying to beat each other's high score. So whoever beat each other off the best with their high score got to keep the Game Boy. Oh, was I not supposed to do that? Oh boy. Can I come back in this room? I would really enjoy all of those goodies. Nope. Awesome. I got a little ahead of myself. Now we'll just stick with Rick. I haven't really used Rick very much. Oops. I am... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like at this point I might just want to die just to... Savor the reset. What is this? Can Rick not... Okay. There we go. Get these thwomp wannabes out of the way. Oops. But yeah, my sister and her then boyfriend in a very climactic battle of gaming wit going head to head playing Kirby's Pinball Land. And my sister was always the one who was like, I'm the best at this. And in her hubris, she did actually wind up losing. To her, to her boyfriend at the time. And you can imagine what kind of chaos ensued. Because when you're a teenager, and you're a competitive teenager, you don't want to lose to your partner. No, no, no. So, uh, yeah. Those two apparently did not talk for a few hours after that, which I think is hilarious. It's a great story. It makes me laugh. It gives me a good old chuckle. Some people do take games, games pretty seriously, and... They doubly so don't want to uh, lose to their partner. Oh boy. I would have really enjoyed this. Can I still get it? Oh, I still can. Nice. Okay. And these are probably nothing. We'd really enjoy some stars. Okay. I guess not. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with a cat that we saw on the intro screen. At this point, I'm kind of jaded. Not super worried about what it is. 
I'm just trying to be a little more careful here. Very careful. I don't think any of these are useful. Just trying to avoid these big cannons from blasting me in my face. I'll grab two. Just because Kine is not really useful when he is... How do I get down there? I don't know. I would have loved to have had that, but I feel like I need something explosive. Uh, let's go ahead and hop away. There we go. So yeah, I always really enjoyed uh, Kirby's Pinball Land. Oh, okay, they just eventually kind of like, hey, bye! It was always a fun game for me. I really loved having a Game Boy as a kid. It was kind of my uh, go-to time killer in the car. I was never really a, a kid who wound up with, like, motion sickness. I didn't have to deal with that much, unless I read in the car. That was always a really poor... Oh. Okay. Well, that was another life. Had to be... non-consensually licked, which I did not appreciate. But, uh, yeah, I'd always play Game Boy in the car. My big old brick Game Boy until... I got a Game Boy Color. And then I was playing with power. That's not the slogan, but I remember having a Game Boy Color and playing Pokemon Gold and Silver. Nope, sorry guys, sticking with Q. I don't know. Okay, yeah, see that would have been useful a few times earlier on. I don't know if I like these moments. Do these turn into anything? Can I get anything from these? Oh, and I'm invincible when I do that? Nice. Yeah, I remember how much fun it was as a kid playing uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver in color. It was amazing. So I had the the veil of the past lifted from my eyes. Played Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, which are two of my favorite Zelda titles. I really hope. I actually, was just watching a speedrun of those games the other day. It makes me really hope that Nintendo is willing to... I really want these. Okay. Not really the best choice, but I think the firepower should extinguish those guys. Nice. Really hoping that Nintendo is willing to give whatever third-party studio it was... Oh, get out of here. You got rid of my firepower, you turd burglar. Oh, I don't want to die here. No, no, no. Ugh. All that star gathering and life having for nothing. Okay. Are these supposed to be like Kappas? Anybody ever played uh, Pocky and Rocky or Rocky and Pocky, whatever order? Is that the name of that game? With the Raken and the, uh, the little girl, the fan. There's that level that you do with the... Uh... That was kind of cute. The level that you do with the... Um... The raft, like the second world or whatever you do. And those things are all up in your business. Oh man, those always creep me out. I don't think I can kill these things, so I'm just gonna sneak right past you. I think I wouldn't have so many, like, I don't want to say negative feelings about this game, because I don't really have, I don't feel bad about it, but I feel like I would have enjoyed it more in general if this game, if the levels weren't so gosh dang long. Oh, I'm sorry. I probably was supposed to bring Cat. It's a very sad cat. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, great. End of the game. Need some items. Let's go ahead and just not get any. Awesome. All right. So one more regular level. Regular level. Oops, it's one of these. It's a vertical scroller. I don't think this music has been heard before. I don't like this. Having to deal with the vertical version, we dealt with the horizontal ver- No, it was also vertical, Never mind. Ooh, cat. Probably needed a cat last time. Now maybe that was Mrs. Cat. The downside of these levels, the only downside, one of the downsides, I should not say the only downside, is uh, they're so long and random. Can I get that one up? I would love that. Nope, just more animal buddy choices. 
check out. Oh, this is a false door. Rude. Is this a false door too? Wouldn't surprise me. All the hijinks. Yeah, that's... That's lame. Are we on like some airship or something? I'm starting to get kind of like weird vibes that we're like... Obviously we're in the air because there's clouds. It's the only way that you'd know. Clouds don't exist underground. Maybe they do. Was this a, a mini boss? This guy's creepy. Oh. Okay. Oh. He spits out rocks. Yeah, this music is very ominous. It kind of reminds you of like Chrono Trigger. I'm a big fan of having Cat in his triple jump here. Aha! Got him. Surprisingly, rock power up? Wouldn't have guessed. Oh, we do have rock power up. Was oh, I got a feather? Oh, I bet that. You know what? I bet you're supposed to get the various powers in these little boss rush rooms. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oops. Excuse you. So I can use the. Oh, I wasted it. Okay, this is that weird foot fetish boss. You stay in the corner though. Nope. You still gotta move. Come on, cat. Oh, there it is. I'm doing a really good job of dodging, as you can tell. These rooms are a little... Kind of, uh... A little too tight. Man, this is... I'm doing a really poor job of judging his hit cycle. I also like him to stay on the gosh dang screen. There we go. Yeah, the triple jump is really nice. Oops. You can just jump out of the way, I suppose, instead of just trying to duck in the corner. That'd make more sense, wouldn't it? I mean, we have this amazing power from Cat, and we're not using it. The triple jump. This boss also takes a really long time, has a ton of health. That rock boss, which we rolled pretty easily, did not take nearly as long as this did. Oh boy. Yes. I wish I could just have Cat as like a permanent animal buddy. Because all the animal, other animal buddies are a little underwhelming. And that's what bums me out is like they were really good in Kirby 2. Like they all had a purpose. A very defined and motivated purpose. Whereas this one it's just like, well you can use them all in certain ways. Even if they're not, you know, beneficial to you. Like, giving you access to Koo when there's no water. I don't quite understand that. Oops. Man, I was doing so well. Not getting bonked or anything. Alright, come on. Toss your sneaker at me. So you can tell I really enjoy this boss fight. Probably my favorite one in the entire game. Ooh, that's cool. See, Cat has some of the best powers. Okay. So I've already missed the first feather, whatever that was. Ooh, it's very good that they give you a, a nice energy drink here. I always kind of wonder what that's supposed to be. Oh yeah, this is just a boss rush. I think these are all bosses that were from this area, right? I don't feel like Parasol is a very good power to have for this guy. Would have preferred to have firepower. Oh my gosh. It's kind of tough to suck up his balls and then still be able to hit him. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Nice. Got him. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 missed, the, I missed the first one. Also, I don't know... I don't think... Hold on. Can I... Wait... I want... I want to hop off. Okay. There we go. See? That's using your noggin. I was about to panic. I've probably have made that mistake so many times. Excuse you. No, don't hit me. These guys all have turd cutter and I don't want them to use that on me. Oh man, I'm doing really badly. Oh, I should have grabbed one. No! Oh no. I'm gonna disappoint. I think it was like a girl or something. Small g oh, what on earth is this? Giant broom enemy? Oh my gosh, this is going really poorly. 
Yeah, this is not good. Who's so Kiwi's man? Does that not hurt him? Yeah, I'm trying to be careful here, but uh, yeah. He's, oh. He's just sweeping me right up. Okay, so basically everything... Oh! Well, that was a big old doom. Really hope this is not... At some point, I'm probably just going to take a tactical game over here before I do the fight with DDD. Because I guarantee that one's probably going to be a bit of a doozy. Yeah, using Cat is fun, but Cat is kind of a bit of a liability, unfortunately. Ow. He didn't like me saying that. Maybe he's friends with Cat. Ow. Stop. Yes. I'm thinking that that's probably a good idea. Room power is pretty cool. Also, Kirby sweeping the floor is very cute. I've already missed so much, so I don't really know if it matters. You probably have to get all of the, all of the feathers. This is the final thing that we're trying to help out a bird? Did it get a haircut and it wasn't having a good time? Oh my gosh. Ooh, a fire guy though. I like this. I like the idea of a fire power. Kind of looks like a cool spot from Seven Up. Does anybody remember that game? What a weird, like, game tie-in. Like, that doesn't really seem like that's a thing that companies do anymore. But that, that was all the rage. All the rage of companies back in the DZ, like the late 80s, early 90s, and probably beyond. I mean, it's not limited to that. But various food and drink companies trying to advertise themselves through the mysteries and magics of gamins. Okay, so that didn't do anything. Ooh. Ah, that's a cute face. So I forget what these are called. But they're very annoying. Gordos, maybe? He's losing all of his spikes, though. He doesn't have very much self-preservation. He's not very sharp. This fight's a little bit easier. They do telegraph it. I would really enjoy if uh, the game could, you know, not be taking forever. I, I, I goofed because I can't hit him now. Gotta stay on the ground, Kirby. Pants on the ground. Okay. One more should do it. Feeling pretty darn confident about that. Do you have spike power up? Okay, we'll take it. Or like needle, whatever that is. Okay, I don't know why they thought this was fun, but this is... Oh, this is the last one. Thank God. All right, moving on to the end. I got like most of them. Come on, throw me a bone. Okay, so two failures back to... <laughs> oh man, yeah, tactical game over. It's feeling pretty necessary. All right, here we go. Final boss, King DDD. This is probably gonna go really poorly. I am not confident in myself at all. One of the best things about DDD fights is the music, 100%. The DDD theme is fantastic. And I don't know how long they've been using DDD as like the, the big boss. I know that like Meta Knight has been kind of a boss in Kirby lore in certain instances. There we go. So I don't know when DDD became like the solo Uno guy. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a little noivous here. You gotta be quick. This has a ton of HP. Oh, I goofed on that one. Oops. Oops. That was the first time he hit me so far. He's doing pretty well. He's got a big old mouth. I don't remember which game, which Kirby game it is, but there's the, oh boy. There's there's one where, I think it might be, maybe it's Pinball Land, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, or maybe Kirby 1. But one of those Kirby games is, the battle with DD is really fun and like, it's got a lot of energy to it. This one seems a little muted. I mean, everything about this game is kind of muted, to be honest. Oh! Oh boy. He's sucking on us. We don't want that. Cloud effect in the background is kind of nice, though. Makes you feel like we're going so fast. Alright. Oh! 
Is that the first phase done? Okay. That looks like that is the case. What is he doing? How's he flying? Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> That's not the DDD that I remember. Oh my gosh. What is hat? Is he possessed? Some creature? Inside of him? It's like me when I eat something spicy or like really flavorful food sometimes, like heavily spiced. So spicy or spiced. I get something crazy inside of me too. I totally get it. All right, spit your goo out at me. Okay, so you gotta wait. You can't hit him when, his, when he's got his chompers out. This is gonna take a bit. Yeah, this will probably be the longest episode of Kirby, by and large, of this being the final boss. So hang in there, everybody. I'm gonna try to hold on to that final... Oh, he's shooting at me. Oh. Oh, that was dumb. I did not... I did not time that very well, unfortunately. Yeah, this is really strange. I don't know the lore of, of Kirby, but I remember, you know, in certain Kirby games, you like the Star Rod, and you have to just kind of blast King DDD over and over again. All right, you gotta go with the third one. Land. There we go. Yeah. This is a bit of a war of attrition. I feel like we're under siege here. Okay. So, knock out one and two. I, wonder, I don't think that there's a way to really take advantage of all three of them. I mean... I don't think that there's a way. There is probably 100% entirely possible of a way to do it. I am not the one to tell you how to do that, unfortunately. Oof. This is very tense. Okay. Yeah, this fight just takes a long time. I have to do this four more times. And I guarantee he's got a third phase, so... Oh, that was dumb. Oh no, that was turbo dumb. All right, so he gets, I like when the game kind of feels bad for you and it's like, yeah, yeah, you suck. So we'll, we'll give you a, we'll give you a mulligan on that one. Oh, two mulligans. Oops. Yeah, you seem like you can only get hit him once at a time. Game's like, let's get this over with. I got something to do. I got the rest of my day. Gotta hurry up. Yeah, this is a, one of the strangest final boss fights of a Kirby game that I've ever seen. His entire, like, abdomen opens. It's kind of creepy. I'm not sure I feel about that. Ooh. Okay, that's phase two. Or is that it? That's definitely not it. There's no way. Alright, game, I'm on to you. What kind of trickery is afoot? I'm waiting for it. Was that it? Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, now you get to know the name of all of the creatures in the game as we bask in the intense amount of, of how underwhelming that was. Oh my goodness. I'm just kind of sitting here like a little dumbfounded, but that's, that's all that was? Like who made this game? Like, how Laboratory makes, or had, I don't know if they're still around, probably not. But at the time, you know, they were just co always coming out with, you know, first party heavy hitters for Nintendo. And, uh, they really just made a big popon. That's what I feel, I feel poponed right now. From like start to finish, this game was just kind of like, eh. I apologize for those of you who love Kirby's Dream Land 3, but maybe this was their B team and they put more of the effort and energy into Kirby Superstar? Because I know that that game was really beloved by a lot of people. And that's kind of what I think about. In general though, I'm just like, ugh. This just feels kind of like whatever. Unless this is just a fake. You ever go to the movies and then, you know, you're ready to leave. You're probably full of pee and sugar. About to vomit. 
and wet yourself and you're just like, I need to get out of here. But then you've always got that one person in your group who's like, no, wait, we have to stay and see the post credits trailer that nobody really cares about. It doesn't really add much to the story. And only if you're like a big fanatic would it make a difference to you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm waiting for the game to be like, gotcha. Throw me into a third round of a boss fight. This is, yeah. I don't know. Do I have to watch this entire thing? Jumper shoot? That's not, that sounds like a really not great translation. Lucky. These names are great. I think, I like that it's a little charming though, that games back in the day had such a good cast of characters and enemies that they would, uh, Tell you who they were, and I feel like that's kind of synonymous with most of the Super Nintendo games I've played so far. Okay. Oh, jeez. Are we not done? Is there more fight? Or is that it? Oh, maybe that's like a secret boss. Eh, we'll never find out. If you want to look that up, feel free. But uh, that was Kirby's Dream Land 3 on Super Nintendo Sundays. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, gonna be coming at you with a, uh, a new series to displace Kirby's Dream Land 3 in a little bit. And, uh, you'll see what that's like in a few weeks. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.